animals are the most loving and caring creatures. Most families have pets who are just like members of their family for them. But it can sometimes get difficult to understand what your pets are up to. It's possible that your pet's at its best behavior in front of you, but behind you they might be doing things out of your imagination. After all, you can't always keep an eye on them. And this story of Miss Kitty, the Jonas's cat, has taken the whole Jonas family on a roller coaster ride and has done things that would be unbelievable for people to even think of. And when the neighbors caught Miss Kitty, the family of Miss Kitty was in for a surprise of a lifetime. Frank and Ann Jonas have been married for three years now, and both of them are animal lovers. They together got a cat and named her Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty's a white Persian cat, and the couple loved her dearly. Both Ann and Frank always took care of Miss Kitty, and she was like their own child. They'd always thought that Miss Kitty was a calm and lovely pet, but they were soon going to be proven wrong when they'll find out something beyond belief. Frank and Ann had been living near a trailer park in South Carolina since their marriage. The town was a small one, and the neighborhood was the best part of the place. Everyone was friendly around, and it felt comfortable. The most amazing thing of living in a small town is that people living around you know you really well. You're on talking terms with everyone around you, and it's like a big happy family. Families are so close to each other that they even know the names of each other's pets. The neighbors were socially amiable people, and all of them used to get their pets for walks in the park where all the dogs used to play with each other and the cats among themselves, Miss Kitty being one of them. The relationship between dogs and cats is known to be not really a friendly one. The two haven't gotten along with each other in almost all cases. And what Miss Kitty was going to do would make you think twice before keeping a dog and a cat together as pets. Well, there were a lot of cat pets in the neighborhood. Miss Kitty was everyone's favorite. All white and well-groomed, Miss Kitty stood out from the other cats. But people were aware of her real face. Kitty was a very social cat, or so the people around her perceived. She seemed to be friendly towards people, but soon all these misconceptions were going to change. She was going to do something unthinkable, and everything will be out of sorts. The family just next to the Jonas's house had a pet dog named Smoochie. Smoochie was a black cocker spaniel, very naughty and hyperactive. The life of Kitty took a turn when she saw that Smoochie was pregnant. Kitty seemed to be of a very calm and composed nature. She always listened to what Anne and Frank told her and had never been a naughty cat. She roamed around exploring things till the time she was allowed and stayed home when asked to. But there was something about Kitty that was not fine recently. She seemed like she was changing and it did not look like it was a good change. She was up to something very strange and neighbors were speechless when they found out. Smoochie had finally given birth to five black puppies who all looked exactly like her. Her family was more than happy to welcome this cute and large litter of Cocker Spaniels into their house. Everyone seemed happy, but there was someone who'd been noticing all of Smoochie's steps as to what she did, around what time, and she and her puppies, and when they were alone. Yes, this someone was Kitty. She had plans on her mind. Smoochie had totally contrasting nature to Kitty's. She was never calm, always running around, and hardly ever at home. She loved roaming around the neighborhood, and everyone knew her as the naughty one. After her puppies were born, Smoochie's family noticed something very weird. Just after three days of their birth, one of the puppies went missing. No one could understand where could the little one go. Smoochie was also not aware of it. The weird event continued, and the very next day, another puppy went missing. The family had not been able to find the first puppy, and the next one was also gone now. What was happening? Was there a thief in the neighborhood? After two puppies went missing, the neighbors kept vigilance at everyone around because they wanted to help Smoochie and her family, but they'd not expected to see any of what they saw next. In the evening, when some neighbors were having a good time with their children and pets in the trailer park, they noticed that Kitty was carrying a black puppy in her mouth, and she went and hid somewhere after that. And that's when Smoochie's family told everyone that a third puppy had been missing since that afternoon. The people who'd seen Kitty carrying the puppy could not understand what she was doing with the puppies, but now they were scared. On the same day, all five puppies went missing, and Smoochie's family was really heartbroken now. That's when the neighbors informed Smoochie's, as well as Kitty's family, that they'd seen Kitty carrying the puppies in her mouth. Everyone was speechless now. That's when Ann and Frank realized that Kitty had been keeping herself too busy for a few days, and they didn't know where and how. But it was very difficult for them to believe that their kitty could do something like that. Everyone started searching for Kitty. 
Well, all the people in the neighborhood were busy finding Kitty. She was on one corner of the park inside a trailer working on her plan. And that's when one of the neighbors saw Miss Kitty hiding inside a trailer. Everyone ran towards the trailer to see what Kitty was even up to. All of them had thought that she was a friendly cat, but why had she stolen Smoochie's puppies? Were they even alive? And when they peeped inside the trailer, everyone was taken aback. The neighbors saw Kitty hidden in the corner of the trailer, but she wasn't alone. She was surrounded by the litter and they were all safe. All the puppies were with Kitty. But why? What was her plan? Why'd she steal them that way? Miss Kitty had been pregnant some time ago. Anne and Frank were more than excited as they prepared Kitty for the big day, doing all that they knew of. She'd stopped going outside as much as she used to at some point and was in safe conditions. After about two months, Miss Kitty went into labor and that's when things really took a turn. Kitty gave birth to multiple kittens, but none of them survived. And the reason was unclear because, as per Anne and Frank, they'd look after everything with proper care. Even during her pregnancy, Kitty had acted strangely at times. Her appetite decreased dramatically and her body temperature also dropped. And it's very common for animals to not have a successful birth if they're pregnant for the first time. People really think that animals do not have feelings, but they're really wrong. Kitty had a really hard time to accept what had happened, and it showed in her actions. She was always so sad and had stopped stepping out of her house also. While Kitty was dealing with a very hard and difficult time for her life, Smoochie, on the other hand, was too young to be pregnant, and that's why she didn't really have any feeling to take care of her litter. She wasn't able to get attached to them. It was too early for her to have the responsibilities of motherhood. Smoochie was not at all tendering to her babies, and she didn't even nurse them. The family was really worried because they were afraid the puppies would suffer because of this. Smoochie was not interested in even keeping them safe. Smoochie didn't care about the puppies, and the puppies, on the other hand, really needed their mother in order to survive in the first few days. But no matter how hard the family tried, Smoochie paid no attention to her litter. Miss Kitty was all ready to be a mother, but fate did not give her the chance to be one. Smoochie, on the other hand, was not at all ready to be a mother and was too young for the responsibility, but she was blessed with the litter. Kitty had not been able to get over the fact that none of her kittens had survived, and so she was elated when she saw Smoochie's litter in front of her. Moreover, she could see that Smoochie had been ignoring them all this while. The newly born litter needed affection, warmth, and care of a mother, and their own mother was unable to do so for them. Kitty started taking rounds of Smoochie's yard every day before she made up her mind to carry forward her plan. Kitty had planned that if Smoochie was not going to love her litter, then maybe she could do it for her, because after all, that's what the newborns needed. Yes, she decided that she would take care of the puppies. Miss Kitty had taken the litter to the trailer one by one and was actually nursing them and taking care of them. She'd become a motherly figure for them, and Kitty was more than happy to be around for the puppies. Miss Kitty's body was surprisingly still responding to her pregnancy, and above that, her instincts kicked in when she was around the puppies. And that's why her body kept producing milk, and that was one thing that Smoochie was not bothered to give her puppies. After seeing how smoothly things were handled by Kitty, both the families decided that there was no harm in Kitty taking care of the puppies, and that they would not stop her from doing so either. It seemed like the perfect timings and fate had collided for Kitty and the litter to be together. Mother Nature had really been working as a miracle in Kitty's case post her pregnancy, and the families were happy to let things be the way they were. This incident has been no less than a miracle for all the residents of the trailer park. It was really not a normal occurrence that a cat was taking care of puppies when it's known that cats and dogs don't get along. But it's said, a mother's love is the greatest love.